Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. We're excited to be with you, back with you guys, and we're going to do a quick lesson this morning. Um, today, we're still going to be working on something we call hand-eye coordination. I believe that your hand-eye coordination is extremely important. If you think about a lot of activities and a lot of sports that require hand-eye coordination, you think of baseball. You've got to use your hand and the bat to swing it, okay? Um, there's Not only are you using hand-eye coordination, there are some sports that require you to use an object to strike another object, okay? Like badminton, like hockey, like baseball, like tennis. All those things are require you to hold something and hit something else. Today we're going to be using, if you have a, a ping pong paddle, we're going to be using that. We're actually going to use a piece of tin foil. And if you don't have a ping pong paddle, we're just going to use a plate. And we're going to use this to work on hitting it and striking it, hitting it. Okay? And it's really going to help work on our hand-eye coordination while using objects. Okay? So let's put that stuff down. We're going to do our warm-up and then we'll do our stretch and then we'll do our striking activity. Okay? All right. Uh, Feet together, let's do 15, or excuse me, 10 jumping jacks. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, jog in place. When you jog in place, make sure you get your elbows nice and bent and you're moving your arms. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, for 10 jump ropes. Ready, begin. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. We'll do high knee jaws. That's where we get our knees up really high. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Let's do side to side jumps. So side to side. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do our heel kicks. That's when we try to kick ourselves in the high knee. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. All right, let's stretch. Feet together. Put your body hanging down. We're hanging. Hope that was a chance for you to warm up your muscles so we can stretch those muscles. And legs apart. And the biggest muscle we like to stretch are running our legs. Yes, we want to stretch our arms, we want to do things with our arms and stretch them, but our leg muscles tend to be a lot more tighter, especially in the morning time when it's cold. All right, legs down, reach down. 10, get getting off here. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Reach to the, the right side over here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left side. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Reach back, grab your back leg and pull it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And switch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's make little circles with our arms. Big circles with our arms. All right, pick one arm up, touch yourself in the back, and grab that elbow and pull it back. Very good. Switch other side. Your back up. All right, put this hand up in the sky. Okay, touch your back with that hand. Grab this elbow and pull it. You see how we fold it? You pull it. All right, put one arm out, bring it across your chest, put your hand on the back of it and pull that arm. Very good. And switch other side. Pull. Perfect. Hands on your hips. Look up to the sky. Look down to the ground. Up to the sky. Down to the ground. Look to one side. Switch to the other side. One side. Other side. Circle around and around and around. Have a seat on your bottom. Sit in a big pike. That means our legs are nice and straight. When you reach out for your toes, don't let your knees bend. Keep your knees straight. So we're reaching out. Very good. I can pull my toes off still. That's really good. That means you've got flexible legs. All right. And butterfly. Hitting knees. Bring it close to your body. If you can, try to put your hands on your knees and push your knees down. That would be good for you. Push your knees down. I can use my elbows and I push my 
elbows down. It helps push my legs down. Now watch this. Let's put one leg out and one bend one leg in. Reach out to that toe and switch it. Reach out to that toe and sit in a straddle. Only got like two more to do. Oh, sorry, two more. And reach both hands out to the middle. And reach to this side. And last one, this side. Perfect. So that was our warm up. And that was our stretch. Now, like I said before, is if you need to pause the video, if you've got a little ball, some people might have to have a ping pong ball. If not, go get you a, maybe a piece of tin foil. See if your parents can help you get a piece of tin foil and then ball it up in a little ball and it makes a nice round ball. If you can't do that, then just get a piece of paper, a couple pieces of paper and ball it. Or like we did before, you can take a sock and ball it up and twist it up and a sock might be even easier to use. Okay? So now, if you got like a, a plate, styrofoam plate's good. I got another plate for you to use. I've got a, a plastic plate that can be good to use. You might even have a piece of cardboard. A piece of cardboard. I even have a, a, a little folder, small folder that can be used that can help with the hitting of things, okay? All right, and of course, if you have a, a, a ping pong paddle, this is what we use to play a game called ping pong, or it's what I use to give Mary a whooping when she's bad. I'm just I'm not, kidding. I'm not bad. So, any of those objects, so if you need to pause the video and get your, get your, uh, your equipment together, then let's just pause real quick and then come back to it. So, we got our objects, okay? All right, so y'all scoot back a little bit, get your object. I like a plate when we're first learning because I want you to catch it. So we're going to hold the, don't slap it yet, fucker. Listen, make sure you're listening and paying attention because you're going to be a special demonstrator and I want you to watch because people are going to be watching. So you toss it up and then you catch it. When you catch it, you've got to kind of absorb it a little bit. So it's in the middle, you toss it up and you catch it. Ready? Try it again. Toss it up and catch it. Toss it up and catch it. Very good. Toss it up and catch it. Once again, all we're doing is training our eyes, our hand, and the object that we're holding all to work together. We're training them to work together. Toss it up and catch it. Mary had a good idea. If you can't use one hand, then try to use both hands. Okay? Let's make it back and forth. It's kind of It's kind of All right. So we're tossing it up. And catching. Tossing up and catching. If you mess up, that is completely okay because you're just learning. This is something probably new to a lot of people. Tossing and catching. Now go back to that one hand if you feel comfortable. One hand. But one reason I like a plate, especially like a styrofoam plate, is because this, this little tin full ball or the ball that you get, your stuff, it's going to roll around when you try to catch it. And a plate has a rim around it and it helps stop it. Now try to go to the other hand, which is probably your non-dominant hand. This might be a little more challenging. Make sure you watch it and you do a little toss, a little catch. You see that, Mary? A little toss, a little catch. Not big. Oh, yes. Good job. A little toss, a little catch. It's like baseball. It's just you don't have a glove and you don't have like a ball. That's right. Mary said it's kind of like baseball where you have a glove because and you're working on throwing it and catching with your glove. If the ball goes to the hand, can you there? Super good. Tossing and catching. Now, let's try this. Let's see, Parker, can you do this? Let's see if you can hold it in the middle. I want you to toss it and, and then hit it again. So toss it, hit it again. Just once, though. So watch, Parker, Mary, you ready? Toss it and hit it. Can you do that? So we hold it, we toss it and hit it. There you go. So you, you put it in the plate, toss it, hit it. You might want to have a little bit of space. You can see we have a little bit of a, a little space in our, our dining room area that if we hit it, it, it's not going to go and break something. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, they did something cool. They did toss it, hit it, catch it. Oh, wow. I'll try that. So we toss it, hit it, catch it. Almost. Now let's toss it and hit it two times if we can. So we... Toss it, hit it, hit it. Yeah. Perfect. So, toss it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Now, if 
you focus on not hitting it hard, then you should be able to go hit, 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 hit. So the, the, the ball itself is probably not going to stay perfectly still. Now, if I had a ping pong ball and I used a paddle, it'd probably be easier because, you know? All right, so let's keep trying that. Let's keep working. Ready to begin. Yeah, stand up and do it. But don't hit it hard. Don't hit it hard. Little hits. Y'all doing great. All this is doing is giving us a chance to practice. All this is doing is giving us a chance to practice for our eyes, our hands, and the object to work together. Now, one thing's cool is that, like if you have a sibling at home, like a brother or a sister, or a parent that's at home, you can work on, you can watch this, Parker, get your, get your uh, plate ready. Get your, let's watch me and Parker. I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to hit it to him. And I'm using the plate. I'm hitting to him. And then he can catch it, and then hit it back, or he can try to hit it back. Sometimes we go to the beach, we got a game that we play at the beach, where we use big paddles and a ball, and we hit it back and forth, kind of like tennis, okay? But... Is helping us work our hands and our eyes. Now, Parker, you hold it in your hand and hit it to me. There you go. Mary, let me try to hit it to you. Okay? Ready? There you go. Good job. All right, Mary, hit it. Hit. There you go. Oh, ready, Parker? I'm going to hit it to Parker, and then Parker's going to try to hit it back. Okay? So you probably use underhand. Yeah, so we went back and forth and back and forth. And it's okay because Parker was going to tell me that his plate broke. And that's all right because it's just a little cheap plate. We're just using it for fun, practicing. All right? Or just switch with me. Okay? All right, Mary's turn. Let me hold your ball, Mary. Let's set your ball down. All right? You ready? I'm going to hit it to you. Come forward a little bit. Right there. You ready? And I hit it to you. Yeah, that was great. And so we're having to force our brain and our hands and our eyes and our object, it be in the plate or it be this. Or even yesterday I was outside playing with Parker and I had a baseball bat and I had the ball and I was trying to hit the ball just bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Okay? All right? So this is, what, this is the way we can practice on that. Now, if you have a partner, great. Use them. If you don't, then just keep practicing by yourself. So get your, get your object, Parker. Can we try to all right, now, now let's see how many times you're going to count by yourself. You can keep it up without falling. Ready? Begin. Oh, I just did it three times. How much? Three. Nine. Parker did it nine times. Okay. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You're up. Ready? Again. One. I'll try again. It's okay. Ready? Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. Oh, good. See, we're playing together. All right, Mary, you're up. One, two, three, four. Oh, good job, Mary. That's okay. I'll try to get it back to you, but I messed up. So this is something that if you're at home right now, you can get your plate and just try to keep it up. Try to see how many you can go. Mary and Parker's going to keep trying. Okay, y'all keep trying. If you need to move around, that's okay. Rem please remember when you hit it, you might only want to try a sock. The sock's easier. Try to stop, Mary. If you hit it soft, if the softer you hit it when you're first learning how to do something, the little bit you probably have more control and you're going to have a little bit more success. You got like a plastic plate at home, you can try a plastic plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, good. Or you could use like a, a notebook. 
anything that's going to help. Now, one thing you could do is pretend, like even like pretend like it's a, after, if you have some space, probably wouldn't want to do this inside, but you could always take your thing and try to serve it like you're playing volleyball. Or in ping pong, you have to serve it over a table. In baseball, you have to toss it and hit it. And so it's giving you a chance to, it's giving you a chance to learn how to, in hockey, remember hockey, we use an object that we strike it. In golf, we strike it in in uh, a lot of different sports. Uh, lacrosse is the name of a sport that we use to do it. So those are different activities. So this is a lesson today that we did that has you uh, working on using an object to strike another object, okay? And I'm trying to be creative because I know that a lot of you guys are at home and you don't have access to a lot of different equipment and I don't have access to go to the school and get a lot of equipment. So we're trying to be creative. And so today we hope you enjoyed this lesson. All right, just keep practicing, and um, I'll let you do your own little conditioning at home, all right? Guys, if you like this page, remember, if you like this video, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, make a comment, or um, subscribe. subscribe, turn the bell on, all those little things, okay? All right, bye guys, we appreciate you watching.